and I have a feeling this is gonna be a good one so let's dive in hey guys welcome back to another lipstick swatch video for those of you who are new here my name is shemaine and i do lipstick swatches if you have been with me i want to thank you for your continued support so today we're going to be swatching the essence velvet matte lipsticks i have quite a few videos from essence cosmetics so I will leave some of them in the description below or you can just search my channel for Essence Cosmetics and all the videos should pop up. But yeah, so it's the Essence Velvet Matte Lipsticks. This is what it looks like. I'm not sure if these are entirely new, but I did get these on Ulta. They go for around $2.99 or $3.00, so like I said, very affordable i got five shades here i will just go ahead and start with this one that i have this is shade number two and this one is called marsh marshmallow marshmallow so these are described like i said as a velvet matte lipstick but when I swatched it on my hand just now, it was the creamiest swatch ever. I'm like, are these really a matte? But they are actually incredibly velvety smooth. So let's see what it's going to actually look like on my lips. That's a kind of bright pink. That's actually brighter than I thought. Ah. So clearly this is like a Barbie pink or bubblegum pink lipstick, which I don't mind. It's a fun, fresh summer lipstick, but yeah, it's, it's definitely a girly bubblegum pink type of lipstick that I think would go great with fun summer dresses. Okay, so next shade up is called Dusty Romance, and that is shade number three. So when I hear the word Dusty Romance, I think about a dusty mauve or a dusty rose or dusty pink type of shade, and that's what this looks like to me. Look at the ease of application there. It just glides on like butter. I just can't get enough of how easily it is to apply this lipstick. It is indeed velvety smooth. And one thing I want to point out is that the way these lipsticks feel on my lips right now I can tell that it will not last very long just because of the formula. It is an easy glide, smooth, creamy formula, even though it's described as a matte. But I guess putting the word velvet in front of matte gives you a clue that it's not going to be like a traditional matte lipstick. It's a creamier matte, which means that it will transfer very easily. So. I like Dusty Romance, beautiful shade, very safe, but at the same time, it looks super cute and you can easily look put together. So I dig this one for sure. Next shade up is shade number four, and this one is called Hungry Pink, another pink shade.
Now, if I had to choose between this pink and where is it at? Hot girl summer pink. No one's having a hot girl summer this year. So why am I even considering this pink right now? But I really do prefer this pink over hot girl summer because hot girl summer is canceled this year in case you didn't get the memo. Next up is a red shade, and this one is called Unresistible. Clever, eh? And this is shade number six. Now, this is the type of shade that you want to wear during your Zoom meeting. All I'm saying is if you want your coworkers to listen to you during your Zoom meeting, all you gotta do is wear a nice red lipstick. You'll thank me later. Lastly, but not leastly, we have shade number 11, and this one is called Fudgy Brownies. For some reason, when I hear the word brownie, I'm thinking of something like chocolatey, chocolatey, chocolate. And this is somehow swatching almost like a gray brown, <laughs> which is, a little bit odd, but you know, we'll work with what we have. I did not think, I think I like it. And I was starting to trash talk it, but I think I like it. Okay, I'm gonna take everything I said back. I think I like it. I am pretty happy with this color. If you guys are digging this color, please let me know because I really do like it. This is not what I was expecting, I swear. My first reaction clearly was that it was gonna look somewhat off, like grayish off, but this is what we got and I am pleasantly surprised at this color. And for that, I am not complaining, but I just want to know what you guys think about this color, if it suits me or if I am just in my head about this color. Let me know what you guys think about this color in the comment section below because I like it. All right, so let's get into our recap of these Essence Velvet Matte Lipsticks. So this is the top and then this comes off. So the top of it is shaped like a bulb and it also displays the color of the lipstick, which I think is pretty nice since it's not a clear, uh, clear cover where you can see the color of the lipstick. And there's nothing worse than having to guess what the shade of a lipstick is. It's like, why? make it any more harder for us. It's like, make it, make your stuff user friendly. I really appreciate that, thank you very much. And these also have the shade of the lipstick at the bottom of the tube. Okay, so let's talk about some of the pros. I would definitely say first and foremost is the price, the affordability, how easy it is on your pockets. These are actually, I looked it up, uh, they're actually $1.99. I think at the start of the video I said about three bucks. But you know, same difference. Uh, these are $1.99 and you do not have to go break in the bank to afford Essence Cosmetics and that is one of the reasons why I have so many of them as part of my collection because I cannot afford to be spending 20 something dollars on a lipstick. Granted, they are lipsticks that are worth that price just because of the insane quality and long lasting capability of them. So 
um, I understand it from that perspective but you know there is nothing that makes me feel any more better than saving a few more of my coins at the end of the day. Essence really is affordable and they cater to the brokest of pockets, like literally. In these times, I tell you, disposable income is very hard to come by. So I don't know about you, but I'm gonna be sticking with my Essence Cosmetics. <laughs> Okay, so next up is the formula. The formula is described as a velvet matte, which I already showed you guys. It does transfer. I'll show you again. So it's a soft, creamy matte texture that really just easily glides on. There is no struggle. You don't have to put up a fight. It just effortlessly glides onto your lips and there's nothing more I can ask for. All I want is for my lipstick to work with me and not against me. And this formula does just that. It easily glides on with no hassle at all. The only thing is that it's gonna transfer like I clearly demonstrated here. So what you're gonna have to do is make sure that you take your lipstick with you because you will have to reapply this lipstick throughout the day. Take your lipstick with you. Don't complain that it doesn't last long because it is not a long lasting lipstick. The finish of the formula clearly demonstrates that it will come off as you eat and drink throughout the day. So you can't say I did not warn you. All right, next up we have the smell. It does have a very, strong scent but it's a pleasantly strong smell so if you prefer not to have scents on your lipsticks then you probably will not like these like i've said time and time again the scents of lipsticks does not bother me unless it's unpleasant you know what i mean unless it smells like feet or something because who wants to wear feet on your lips all right next pro is the moisturization of the hydration <laughs> if that's a thing but these are very hydrating lipsticks and like the formula states it's a velvet matte so velvet means it's smooth and creamy which in turn makes it a moisturizing lipstick so my lips feel very soft to the touch right now it doesn't feel like it's about to crack or peel or anything like that. The lipstick sits pretty comfortably on my lips and when I smile, it doesn't feel like it's dry and cracky. It just moves with my smile. But folks, that is all I got for Essence Velvet Matte Lipsticks. If you guys like this video, make sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up also. Don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see more swatch videos like this from me, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next lipstick swatch video. Bye!